this thing on? <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. Shoot. Hey everyone, it's Jill. It's uh, been a while since I made one of these kind of videos, but I guess I'll just like quickly update you on how things have been going for the past year. Uh, one, graduated from Purdue University. Two, started working full time back in June. And three, I've been living and working from home since quarantine, so mid-March. A lot has happened in between then, but those are definitely just the highlights. The main reason I'm making this video is because for work, I'm currently studying full time to take the Certified Financial Planner certification exam. It's basically just a big fancy exam that certifies me as like a good financial advisor. Um, I'm acting as in the best interest of my clients and I'm making suitable recommendations. Now, this isn't the first exam that um, I've taken for work, but this is definitely the biggest and probably going to be the most challenging exam I'll ever take, and also the most important. Because of that, I was interested in tracking my weekly progress um, as far as studying goes, and just kind of finding best practices and study techniques that I've used throughout the pro process. So because of that, I figured I'd record weekly progress videos to one, track all that information, and then two, to kind of hold myself accountable. I find that if I have some semblance of accountability, it makes it a little bit easier for me to like sit down, do the work and get focused. Now that I've talked a bit about why I'm making these videos, I'll kind of dive into um, what the CFP exam is and what it's gonna be about and then maybe some study strategies, things that I've kind of set up for myself before we even get started with studying full-time. First things first, the CFP is comprised of six books or six main topics. These topics range from general principles to retirement planning, investment planning, to tax planning. The exam is about six hours long, about 170 questions split into two parts. The questions can range from basic understanding of concepts all the way up to analyzing and evaluating uh, questions to get to the right answer. So if you ever heard of Bloom's taxonomy, just basically um, questions that range from bottom tier um, understanding all the way to top tier um, evaluating and analyzing. I'm taking the exam on November 9th and today's September 30th. If I study for seven and a half hours a day, for five days a week, that's about 225 hours of studying for this exam. Because this exam is so difficult and it requires me to really understand and then apply the materials that I've learned, it's important that I have a really good foundation of what the material is about and like um, the different uses for it. Obviously before starting studying for this, I've done a bit of research on how to study, watch some of my favorite YouTubers, of course, just to like find information on how to study for big exams like this. And basically, I'm gonna really try to adhere to active recall and space repetition study methods. So just actively trying to pull information from my memory and then also any material that I go through, um, space it out evenly so that I am studying more difficult material more often and then things that I understand pretty well, I'll see less and less, but I'll still have some memory touch points with it. The reason I'm utilizing these methods is because I really want to try and pull um, information and answers from like understanding the material as opposed to just memorizing um, different facts and figures. To track my study progress, I'm using a site called Notion. It's like a note-taking app, but you can also use it for other purposes besides note-taking. And I'm using it to track my grade with each book. The CFP books that I got come with online study materials, so I get um, supplemental videos, podcasts, reading excerpts, and practice questions. So they And they also have their own study calendar for when I should complete each task. With Notion, I'm gonna track the number of times I go through each book, the comfort level I have. I have a checklist of activities that I'm gonna go through um, with tentative due dates on when I think I should have those done by and then, you know, when I'm actually, when I actually get it done. But studying also isn't just gonna be me sitting down for 12 hours at my desk trying to read and understand and cram concepts into my brain. Um, a big aspect of what these progress for you is gonna be is also just you know, what am I doing to take the time to unwind and relax 
after I should be done studying. What I'm going to try and do is track some of the activities I do outside of work. Any workouts I decide to do, or am I going to play music? Am I going to read a nice fun novel? Am I going to watch Netflix? Like, what am I doing outside to um, unwind and relax and take some time off of studying? The current global pandemic and quarantines really made me realize the importance of mental and physical health. So making sure that I keep myself healthy on all fronts before I take the exam is going to be really important because this kind of exam and studying progress is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. So that's what I have set up so far. It's currently Wednesday, September 30th. Um, we started studying full-time for this exam on Monday the 28th. I finished reading all six books on the yesterday and the reason I was able to finish all the books is because I started reading a couple weeks early. The things that I have on my to-do list for this week is to take a practice exam. So what it would be like if I took a simplified version of the CFP exam without studying at all. After I take the exam, you know, how do I want to set up my schedule for the rest of the week? Right now, setting up a schedule or getting organized is kind of hard because next week, starting um, October 5th, we are going to be going through a live review class session. So we're going to be sitting in a Microsoft Teams meeting for basically eight hours and going through some of the most important hard-hitting topics in all six books. So we're doing that you know, five for five days and that's it. The biggest thing is just getting familiar with the material and then also getting organized and ready for live review day, live review week, so that I am ready to stay focused and understand as much of the material as I can throughout the week. But after the live review, that's when I'll really start diving deep into the study tools, study calendar, and like the study techniques that I want to try. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's just check in and see how I'm, how studying is going for week one of CFP study prep. It's currently October 1st, 2020, um, about 9.40 in the morning. Um, the big thing that I did this morning was take the pre-assessment test. It was a little bit different for me because I did read the books, but it still is a really tough exam to take, you know, a lot of material, a lot of calculations, and you have no idea how to solve the problem. I'm still trying to figure out my daily goals of what I want to get done every day, um, kind of benchmarks and things like that, but I think we're at a good starting point. Okay, so after taking the pre-study assessment, my main focus was trying to figure out where to go from here. The pre-study assessment is good for creating a benchmark of like where I'm currently at. So then the question became, how do I improve that score through the study materials that I'm given? First, I went over all the questions in the pre-study assessment to see what I got right and what I got wrong, um, and then also the explanations as to why. Then I made a list in my Notion notebook of the tasks I have to get done before the exam. And the list consisted of listening to podcasts, watching videos, reading supplemental materials, and taking practice questions. Since it's the first week, I'm trying to limit the work I do to just being stuff that gets fam me familiar. After the live review week, I think it would be better if that's when I start diving into questions and then supplementing that with podcasts, videos, and other resources. Right now, I'm going through the live review binder and flashcards to get some active recall and space repetition started. The biggest thing will be making sure I get through as many cards and get familiar with the material before live review, as well as just making sure I am organized for next week. I've heard that this review week is extremely beneficial and useful if you're ready for it. So hopefully the work I'm doing today will get me there. The main study technique I used today was going through flashcards I have access to through a site called Brainscape. These cards were given to me so that I could prep for a CFP related competition for Purdue, so I'm very grateful that I have access to this nice site and resource right now. Basically, Brainscape allows you to rate how familiar you are with the card material, and if you have no idea what the card is referencing, you give it a low rating and you will see it more often than cards that you know really well. There's about 60 to 90 cards for each book, so it's definitely going to take me a while to get through all of them and quote unquote master them. This is like probably the hardest part about studying is really using a lot of brain power to like 
try and comprehend the material, that's when it gets really exhausting. I don't know, I find that like reading the books, taking light notes, or going over questions, it like does take brain power, but not as much as, you know, going through these flashcards and trying to recall this information over and over again. So I'm definitely feeling more drained than I was in previous days when I was just reading. So, and obviously I know why, because this kind of studying is a lot harder than just reading page after page. I'm just gonna keep hammering it away. I think the goal for today is to finish these flashcards, at least, at the very least, see all the concepts, not master them, and then finish the live review for book one. See where we go from there, maybe do some questions. You know, the night, the day's still young, so there's still opportunity to keep learning. I just kind of got to pace myself to make sure I'm not totally a waste woman by the end of the day. Today, I decided to go through some flashcards for book two, Risk Management and Insurance. It took about an hour and a half to get through as many cards as I could while also rereading the CFP Code of Ethics and Standards of Conduct. I want to read this packet frequently because it's like the foundation of how the CFP answers questions and, um, and runs as like an institution. So it'll be important for me to know the, and understand the code and the standards and what they consist of. So I started reading the live review slides as well um, that we were given for like the next week review session. And I'm trying to decide if I should read the live review book or read the live review slides for Monday. Um, hopefully I figure that out soon because otherwise I'll have to end up reading like 400 pages and 400 slides by Monday and that sounds tragic. Big goal for today is just getting through as many flashcards as possible, as well as getting organized for live review week. All right, so the big goal for today was just getting through the live review slides before Monday. I was initially between reading the slides and or the live review book, but I settled on just reading the slides. I kept studying real low key today because it was weekend. Later in the evening, I set a goal of seeing at least 10 new cards in book two flashcards and I was able to hit that, um, but I was also really in the mood to listen to new music, and I only study or like do active recall with instrumental music. So I try to compensate my desire to listen to nice music and studying by getting organized for next week. I added some simple notes and keys to my Notion notes. Then I also typed out an outline for the CFP knowledge topics and the associated topics in my CFP books. Overall, a pretty lazy Saturday, but it was probably as productive as it was going to get. So that basically concludes week one of studying for the CFP. Um, overall, I think right now I'm still a little bit overwhelmed with all the material and just kind of where to get started. I'm hoping that by the end of live review week, I'll feel a lot better about, you know, where I'm at and how I want to approach all the material and how to, you know, get better at it. But I think this was a good start. I'm really happy that I was able to read all the books and start kind of getting through a second repetition of some of the books and material and things like that. So um, only time will tell how the rest of the study sessions go. Stay tuned for that, so hopefully it gets better. <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions on how I should approach my studying or, you know, best practices when you guys study for big exams or just anything at all, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. and be happy to respond or kind of implement that into my study sessions. But until next time, thanks for watching.